so um I accidentally deleted some of my files twice I deleted once in my file explorer and then again in the recycle bin I actually emptied the recycle bin afterwards <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. Bonjour, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite albums. And today, I have terrible hair. I can't do anything about it. I tried my best already. Leave me alone. And I am going to do an album review on the latest Clou Pelga. I'm sorry if, if I'm butchering any French-Canadian pronunciations. Uh, Notre Dame des Sept du Lieu. Uh, again, I don't speak French, so... You guys are going to be mad. So Clou Pilga, uh is a French-Canadian art pop singer-songwriter. And I didn't know much about her until a couple weeks ago when her album suddenly showed up in the top albums of the year list in RateYourMusic.com. And I was like, yes, I'm going to review it. I'm going to review it. I bet, I bet no one else on the internet is going to say anything about this album, okay? I was wrong. But still, since I've already listened to this album a few times for the past few days, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna review it. So the album is an art pop album with a lot of instrumentation and they're all very lively, colorful, fun, and it's more fun and playful than I've expected. Um however, there is there are a few slow quiet songs that just just don't quite hit the mark for me uh, and the album also has an intro track and outro track which doesn't really feel that uh, the intro doesn't really build up to the first track the outro isn't all that conclusive or anything they're just all right uh, however we have tracks like Re Remora probably not pronounced like that who cares and it's a really catchy and fun song really cutesy fun personality from the vocals i love the instrumentals with the groovy bass and the snappy beat everything feels very high energy and exciting and for some reason in the second half of the track it just melts down into something drony everything becomes very groany and, and dusty it's weird at first i was a little turned off like why do you have to make the entire second half of your song two minutes long this entire song is four and a half minutes long and for two minutes it's just drone <laughs> like nearly drone um but i kind of appreciate for how adventurous it is and the same formula goes for the next track umami which is very peppy carefree playful cutesy i love the jumpy pianos and once again we get the groany synth notes crazy crash cymbals and just layers of dense drone for the second half of the track which is weird but it's it sounds fun i guess in a way and then we have the track j'aurai les chavolo j'aurai les chavolo a chavolo uh, and it's uh, it's where the album starts going down, but still this track is pretty solid. It's a sad little piece of piano string ballad with some really beautiful vocals, especially in these little climaxes, little highs that are very moving and emotional. And it's uh, amazing, even though it's very stripped back, it's still very moving. Then we have the track uh, L'Ombre des Cyprès. A l'ombre de cyprès. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, also a pretty, I guess, catchy, jumpy, cutesy, playful track. Except uh, what really throws me off here is that a bulk of the track doesn't really feature lyrics, just vocalization, uh, just random, goofy singing. And second of all, the whistle harmony at the end is, feels a little out of place. And overall, it just feels like a a uh, pretty effortless track in my opinion and we also have the track La Font uh, which has a pretty nice shimmery atmosphere and we have really nice lyrics about being haunted by memories of someone else however the core of the song the songwriting it's really scant kind of underwhelming a little lackluster it's just meh uh, and we also have the track Solil which is also a really 
a uh, really really quiet song ballad just three in a row why not and uh, while yeah at this point in the album I was a little bored just 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 a bit but uh, so Lil is actually so so Lil is actually a really beautiful track with regal vocals, theatrical horns, and I really love the nuance in the track. And then afterwards, the album picks its pace back up with Fu Elise, Fu Elise, uh, which has these reeds, which of course tries to do this for Elise thing. This track isn't actually for Elise. It's only the reeds that's doing the da -da -na 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 -na. but the main melody of the song isn't like that at all. <laughs> if, if it is, then I would be vomiting because it, it would suck. Trying to force a classical, a, a piece of classical music into a pop song is a terrible idea. Not many people succeed in doing that. And I don't know why there are so many Hong Kong singers do this shit because they're running out of ideas. Uh, anyways, this song is not bad. The vocals are bold, we get these nice twangy guitars. However, this track is a little bit forgettable in comparison with other tracks on the album, and uh, it is alright. Uh, next up we have Melomi, Melomi, which is, uh, wow. This track just pops off, it explodes, because it is an exciting high energy banger, all the way from the very strange uh, intro to the very crazy, humongous synth leads and pounding drums and wacky instrumentals. It's like I'm listening to 70s pop music. It kind of reminds me of ABBA a little bit, actually. It's just very wild and, and fun and catchy. It's amazing. Also really catchy would be the next track, Où, où vas-tu quand tu dors? Où vas-tu quand tu dors? And it's a really catchy, groovy track, even though it's a little lower energy, uh, it's still a lot of fun, sugary melodies, bright keyboards, I'm loving it. Then we have La Maison Jean, which is a very dramatic ending for the album. Dramatic walls of strings and reverby horns, completely drowning out the vocals, but if you listen closely, the vocals and the melodies are not really that great as well. A little bit on the mediocre side, a little bit on the by the numbers side but still overall this album has a lot of potential and uh, a few of the tracks on the album are actually pretty great so uh, yeah I'm giving clue pig uh, I'm saying my favorite track here is uh, Melomi and my least favorite is uh, Alome de, de Cipres Alome de Cipres <laughs> I'm giving clue pig Notre Dame de Cibdulu a strong 7 to a light 8 out of 10 so, have you listened to the latest Clue Pelga album from Wendy 10 Images? Rate it, like it, like it, subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. I will be reviewing Idols, Joji, Sprain, uh, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and Lil Tecca uh, very soon. Yes! Uh, uh.